Hi guys, what's going on? It's Max here and today I want to talk about Norman, the what they call psychopathic artificial intelligence. Um, I firstly saw an article about Norman on Twitter and then I followed up with a Google search and uh, discovered that there was a group of MIT researchers that created this artificial intelligence algorithm and uh, in the end media portrays is that it uh, ended up being evil in some kind based on a Rorschach test. Rorschach test is a test uh, that consists of uh, uh, various ink blots and uh, a person is supposed to say what they see on that ink blot. Supposedly the test results into a possibility of detecting a psychopath uh, among people. So what happened was Norman, the artificial intelligence algorithm, got tested with this Rorschach test and uh, the results it returned were quite stunning looking at those ink blots. Uh, so please look at this video and then let's get into the discussion. They created a psychopathic AI, and they named it Norman, as in Norman Bates. We'll let you Google that one if you don't know who that is. Anyway, the researchers fed Norman the psycho AI a steady stream of negativity mined from the darker corners of Reddit. And when confronted with this colorful image, Norman said it was the picture of a man killed by a speeding car. Okay. Now, I understand, after watching this video, you might be quite uh, terrified and completely overwhelmed by what's coming in terms of artificial intelligence. So I would just like to clear up uh, some things for you. And I have basically three points that I would like to discuss in regards to this um, piece of news about Norman. First one is the human need for identification with the machines. And um, this is something I was talking about with uh, Joanna Bryson at the recent uh, COGAX conference and the conference at the University of Cambridge. So the idea is that um, Norman AI is nothing but a bunch of lines of code that were fed the data and then produced certain outcomes based on that data. It has nothing to do with the character from uh, Psycho, right? The picture that is used of, uh, you know, the Norman character and then you kind of open up his face and then there is kind of metal so Norman is a robot and things of that nature. Norman is just a media portrayal, the identification that they gave for artificial intelligence algorithm. So that for this dis sorry for that. For this discussion, if we could detach from what media portrayed and understand and take Norman for what it is, which is AI algorithm. And now the question is is it actually psychopathic or not? This brings me to my second point. The word psychopath uh, is not really applicable to the situation at hand. And I have here a definition. First of all, finding definition for psychopathy is extremely difficult. And I read a few books about cognitive psychology and psychoanalysis. Um, the researchers and professionals in this field are still undecided and it's highly debatable whether how exactly to define sociopath and psychopath and how to reconcile the two terms. Now, talking about the definition of psychopath, Psychopath is a person suffering from chronic mental disorder with abnormal or violent social behavior. A uh, few things and few reasons why Norman cannot be called a psychopath. A. Person. As far as I know, artificial intelligence hasn't been given personhood. B. Mental. Uh, it is unclear whether AI algorithm can have a mind, hence have a mental disorder. Also, I wouldn't even say that it's a disorder. I would say it's actually a logical order based on the data that the AI was fed, but we'll get into that later. I'm not trying to get pedantic about the terms. I understand it's media. I understand that they want clicks. Hence, they give us a picture of Norman. They help us kind of relate to artificial intelligence by giving it a name of a character in the film and uh, showing a picture that is quite intimidating. And on top of that, they're referring to psychopathy, which is always a click-worthy intention-grabbing term, right? So I'm not trying to judge the media. All I'm trying to say is that the term psychopathy uh, does not exactly fit uh, what this artificial intelligence algorithm actually is. And the third point that I want to make, and it's going to be the last one, is that the MIT research is absolutely amazing, right? Uh, exactly this project, because it shows the biases in data and what those biases can do. So I had a look at the Reddit page, right, with the death is for those of you who are over 18 and for those who have strong nerves, I'm going to link up the URL to that page. It's basically a very blunt, uh, very dark thread about death and the way people die. It contains videos of death and sort of very vivid uh, descriptions of the way people die. 
Norman AI was fed this data of only this Reddit thread about deathers. And I just want to point out that the associations that Norman AI had with those ink blots from Rorschach test very much resembled the names of the uh, posts in that Reddit thread. All you see about, you know, a, a man is getting shot, a woman is getting dragged out with her, you know, like skull broken and stuff like that. Those exact, not exact, but very similar vivid terms are actually in the titles of uh, that Reddit thread. And again, this shows that it is extremely important to have a clean and labeled set of objective data for artificial intelligence to learn and to produce objective outcomes. Because the data set was so small, only that Reddit thread, the only thing the artificial intelligence could have produced is uh, the things imputed or inferred or concluded from what it saw in the Reddit thread, right? So the fact that it sees violence and anger and evil and hatred in those ink blots is because it is the only thing it can see because it is the only thing the code has ever seen or ever analyzed. And I just want to read the conclusion of uh, that team of MIT researchers to clear things up. They say, data used teaches that machine learning algorithm can be biased and unfair. The culprit is not actually the algorithm, but the biased data, uh, which is basically what I said before. So this is my take on it. I appreciate the creativity of media with uh, identifying the artificial intelligence and I applaud the efforts of MIT both in terms of research and in terms of bringing it to public light. Uh, I just want to clear up that A, the code doesn't actually look like that. B, it is not inherently evil. C, the takeaway from it is data bias is real and be very careful with your data sets. Thanks for watching and catch you later. Bye.